Welcome to Jenkins Documentation Office Hours. Today is March 2nd, and this is the USEU edition. Uh, today, in uh, as far as attendees go, we have myself, uh, Bruno Rockton, and Mark Waite. Thank you for joining. Uh, and if anyone joins in while we're going through things, we'll welcome them as well. Uh, on the agenda today, I have a few action items, just some new blog posts to mention and point out, um, specifically uh, Bruno's newest one that we published this week, uh, updates on the weekly for this past week, and uh, LTS 2.387.1. Um, some talk about the, the Jenkins Awards 2023. Uh, there is some timeline that we want to talk about. The nominations close tomorrow. Uh, documentation transition to Java 17 and what that uh, might entail look like. Uh, improving end of life notifications. So when we do get to end of life of some of these uh, these uh, platforms, products, uh, different softwares, um, we can go through and make sure that everything is updated and uh, modified accurately and correctly. Um, and then talk, in addition to that, a checklist to make sure we're going to the right places, places that we might not uh, think of right off the top of our head or uh, just in general, good places to look for anything that needs updating. Uh, some preparation for the CentOS 7 end of life. This is uh, Mark's proposal and something that we've been discussing for a few weeks now. So uh, just more discussion on that. A couple quick updates on the Google Summer of Code prep. And if we have time for it, just a couple of notes on uh, adding books to Jenkins.io and what we can um, do to help people who want to make those contributions. Uh, is there anything else that we want to put on the agenda or does that cover things uh, for everyone at this time? Okay. Sounds great. good to me. Thanks very much, Mark. Okay, uh, so first things first, again, some blog posts that we've had published recently. Uh, we have our Fostum recap, which is really wonderful and lovely and uh, is was created by all of our Jenkins attendees to Fostem. So uh, lots of wonderful insight and experiences and stories to share there uh, and some really great photography as well. Uh, Jean-Marc has uh, pub we published the Google Summer of Code participation announcement. So Jenkins has been announced as a participating organization for mentorship. Uh, so that's just us celebrating that. And uh, it has it contains links to other pieces of Google Summer of Code information, tips for uh, mentors, contributors, proposal ideas, etc. cetera. Uh, we also published a blog post announcing the CDF uh, the CD Foundation Awards. So uh, these are now being hosted by each project individually uh, if they've graduated to that level. So that means us and Tecton, I know for sure, have their own awards that we're hosting. Uh, these are being hosted in the Jenkins.io repo. So uh, one of the biggest differences between this year and last year. Um, and we'll talk more about that in just a moment. Uh, and then lastly, this is again, uh, the blog post that we have published this week. Uh, this is direct from Bruno. Uh, and how to build an unsigned Jenkins MSI on your Windows machine. Uh, Bruno, is there any, in any a sort of elevator pitch or anything um, you'd like to say about the <laughs> No, I'm afraid it's really straightforward. It's a no brainer, just copy and paste and this should work for you. Um, you know, when you don't know yet how to build one, it's kind of difficult, but once you follow the instructions, frankly, it's pretty simple. And I know uh, it already has helped warm people so goal reached <laughs> thanks for your help in your reviewing uh, that short piece of documentation kevin yeah of course thank you for contributing it bruno and adding it and providing that knowledge it's great great ad and uh yeah if it's if it's already helping people and it seems goal accomplished like you said so that's awesome thank you okay uh next up we have our weekly of this week which was 2.393 that went successfully uh, change log has been updated and merged accordingly, so that's uh, up to date for this weekly. And uh, we'll continue the same process as we go forward with it each weekly. Uh, we also have our next LTS releasing on March 8th, so next Wednesday. Uh, this is going to be version uh, 2.387.1, so uh, a very large change log that's included due to all the changes we've had since 2.375. Um, I have submitted that and the upgrade guide for review. Uh, I've included screenshots of the preview for the change log. Uh, and Alexander Brandis has already provided review and feedback suggestions, which I've been able to apply. So uh, we're in a good place with that. Lots of good um, feedback there that I've been able to apply. And uh, one step closer to having that ready to uh, just be merged. Um, Mark will still need to do his review, but uh, he's aware of it. So I'm not going to uh, mention that again. 
but yeah, um, any notes on the LTS release, Mark, or anything else that we should be aware of? No, just the the urgent action that we've got to have a change log and it needs to be well reviewed before we ship that thing next Wednesday. Thanks Fair for enough. writing it. Sorry, it hasn't been reviewed yet. Nah, that's okay. Uh, it was pretty recent, so no worries. Uh, cool. Uh, next up on the list are the 2023 Jenkins Awards uh, in conjunction with the Continuous Delivery Foundation. Um, so we have three awards. We have the Most Valuable Jenkins Contributor Award, the Jenkins Security MVP Award, and the Most Valuable Jenkins Advocate Award. Uh, we're hosting these, like I said, in the Jenkins.io repo. And to contribute a nomination or submit a nomination, all you would need to do is go to the respective uh, award you'd want to nominate for and provide a comment here explaining who you want to nominate and why. Uh, the, uh, people can you know, uh, voice off in the comments or uh, the emojis and respond to it, let people know that they're in favor of this. Um, I'm pretty sure uh, there's a lot more nominations on the Jenkins Advocate. Yeah, so um, we are getting some action on here and we'd love it if more of the community want, uh, would participate and engage as well. Um, if there's someone you can think of that you've worked with, by all means, uh, feel free to highlight them here, even if they aren't winning it, it's still nice to know and still great to uh, have that appreciation coming from anywhere. Um, the nominations are open until tomorrow, Friday, March 3rd. So you do have time between today and then to submit those uh, nominations. Um, and then when the nominations close, voting will take place later via Google form, uh, and that'll be distributed and handed, handled by both Jenkins and the Continuous Delivery Foundation. So uh, more details to come on that. Um, you do need a GitHub account to vote and nominate since the issues are in GitHub. And something to note is that last year's winners cannot win the same award this year. So uh, Basil cannot be the most valuable Jenkins contributor again, despite how I might feel about that. Uh, Jenkins security MVP. So Wadek unfortunately cannot be MVP again ne 